For years, Maxon has been hiding the secret symmetry tool inside the Posemorph tag, inside the Flipex menu, and they did not want you to know about it. Not like this. But I found it, and I'm going to share it with you so that you will have the power to use symmetry. And if anything happens to me, it's Maxon. Just go after them. Yeah, so I'm Alexei from Ace5 Studios, and let's go have a look at it. I'm going to use Mia for this lesson. And you can grab her at my website, ace5studios.com forward slash Mia, and use her in your own projects. Okay, so let's say we want to make a symmetrical adjustment to Mia. And while some things you can probably get away with the brush tool, like if you want to change the ears or something, which is just one movement. But if you, for example, want to make the fingers here more bulgy, so let's say you want all the fingers to be on both hands, you want them to have like these little, which don't work because you need to go edit and you need to make a new pose here. Yeah. So let's say you want some bulginess on the fingers. Um, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. Firstly, if you already have pose morphs, um, you should create this pose morph here as another one, preferably at the top of the stack and call this, for example, finger adjust. And then what you can do is you can, let's change this to like one, scale it up and maybe select these guys and scale them up and double click these guys and scale them up. So now these bulges. And let's say you want these bulges to also happen on the other side of the mesh. So what you can do is here, this is a finger adjust, just copy this and then paste it. And it's going to be at the bottom. So make sure you drag it to the top here and go flip X. And then there you go. You have this on this side and on this side at the same time. So when you switch back to animate, you have these two finger adjusts and you can actually scale them in if you want to affect them. But you have these here and we haven't broken any of the rigging or the texturing or anything. It still all works. So that's kind of the thing in a nutshell. But if you're working without these pose morphs, if you're working on a new body, let's say if we don't have this pose morph, um, what you do is you basically go character, add point morph, and then here you have it. And let's say call this ear adjust. And then we go to our point mode and we select these points here and can pull them out. We can select these points and pull them down and I don't know, maybe select these two, drag them out. So we have this weird kind of ear thing going on here. And again, you just copy and paste it. And then you just go this one, you go flip X. And it's on that side. And if you click animate, you have both of them activated and you have exact same transforms on both sides. Um, and here, the, thing, the good thing here is if you have, if you don't have any, if you don't have any existing pose morphs, you can actually just delete this pose morph tag now and that's it. And now this is just a regular mesh and you have it in that position. So that's really convenient. And you can do it with, you know, any models are asymmetrical without breaking all the stuff inside. So I really, I feel like this should be somehow implemented into some kind of tool so that it can be used in an easier way to apply symmetry to rigged and textured objects. But for now, this is how it works. A secret symmetry tool that Maxon didn't want to know you, didn't want you to know about. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're still here and I'm still here and this video is still up, you should go check out my website because I have a whole bunch of tutorials. I have a Black Friday sale and I have just a whole bunch of projects, products which you can use. You can rig characters, you can rig packs, rig arms and legs. Maria has a bunch of cats. It's Bob little character builder, a light kit, kids, and just stuff. So yeah, and the Black Friday I'm running right now has a bunch of bundles. So there's a character pack bundle, there's a build pack bundle, there's an explainer pack bundle, and there's an animal pack bundle. So go grab them, one or all of them. If you already have a product, send me an email. I'll give you an extra discount so you don't end up double buying stuff. Uh, until next time.